meteorologist Ron Rhodes. 1132, you know, we now have for the year nearly 60 inches of rain, about 58 and a half inches in Evansville. And of course, we had that record rainfall for the last day of November. Now, we've actually run a deficit since the beginning of December, but we could use a deficit. Any kind of a dry day now is welcome. Of course, the river's way up there, too, at this kind of surge quite a bit. And that's the reason why we're seeing it kind of that brownish color is because it's grabbing a lot of mud and dirt that it didn't have in there before as it's risen. Now, it's up to around 30 feet currently, but it's not going to get close to flood stage. So as we take a look right now at our shaky view of our Heads Construction Tower Cam shot, looking out toward Highway 41, uh, getting... T jostled a little bit by the wind. It's got the jitters as much as anything. So that's uh, traffic moving very slowly northbound. What else is new, right? And as we take a look at our Pogato camera in Powderly, Kentucky, I think that is frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Unless those cars are just stalled, which might be the case. I don't know. Uh, Baz and American RV camera downtown Owensboro, and you can see the brownish tint on the river, which is up a little bit. Smothers Park in view, beautiful blue sky. That's our camera at the Hampton Inn. Right now it's 49 degrees at the airport on the north side of town with a west wind at 12 miles an hour. And the wind is going to be west at 5 to 15, really throughout the afternoon. So temperature-wise, can we do a little run? Let's see. 44 Lagodi, 45 French Lick. 46, come on, 46, we don't have a 46. Got 47 though in Vincennes, 48 in Princeton, 49 here in town, 50 in Tell City, 51 Owensboro, 52 Greenville, and it's 53 degrees in Madisonville. Nice to see all those 50s on the board. Now we did hit 57 for a high on Sunday, but boy, what a downturn we took heading into the new week. On Monday, our high was only 37, 45 yesterday. So, I mean, it's 52 or 53 is what I'm calling it for a high today, and it is going to be feeling like 63. 10 mile prior wind at Princeton. Look at all the 11s on the board to the east. 11 miles an hour, Lagodi, Santa Claus, Tell City, and Fordsville. These double digit winds, though, are creating a bit of a chill for these temperatures uh, that are below 50 degrees. Live first warning Doppler radar is quiet. We had a few clouds that moved in overnight. And those clouds really have broken up, but it made for a decent looking sunrise in some places. You see a few clouds well out to the west, but we've got a lot of sunshine in store for us today. I mean, it's a boring future tracker, at least for the rest of the day, but boring is generally good. In this case, it is good. Now, tomorrow morning, we might see a little bit of fog out there first thing, which could be a problem because temperatures are going to be down around the freezing mark. So. Just a heads up, especially north of the river, there's a possibility. But a lot of sunshine for our Thursday until we get to mid late afternoon. We're going to start to see the clouds moving in from the west. Now, the rain's going to hold off, though. It should be after midnight before we see any rain. Maybe a stray shower just before midnight to the west. But the better chance of rain's going to come after midnight. And you can see a pretty good swath of rain moving in first thing on Friday morning. And even some moderate pockets of rain that could be out there. Earlier runs were showing the better chance for rain being south of the Ohio on Friday morning. That last run, you could see it kind of shifted a little bit farther to the north. But I think it's safe to say that we all have a decent chance for getting some rain on Friday morning. It just won't be a big rain. Looks like it's going to be less than a quarter of an inch, which you know, we don't need a big rain when we've got almost 60 inches of rain for the year. I mean, we've got the sixth wettest rec year on record, and we still have more days to go. Uh, low to mid-50s for a high today with plenty of sunshine. Pretty good breeze out there, though, from the west at around 5 to 15 miles an hour. Over the next seven days, temperatures are going to be warming a little bit. You can see 53 degrees tomorrow. I think that's the best looking day of the week, even though we are going to see some clouds kind of moving in Thursday afternoon. I mean, today, tomorrow, we could be back to back, really pick days. And then that slight chance of rain on Friday, it's not going to amount to a whole lot. The rain's going to be gone by the afternoon. And then temperatures are looking decent as we head into the weekend. On Saturday, plenty of sunshine out there, 49 degrees after a pretty cold low of 29. But that's pretty much par for the course for this time of the year. So I think a good start to the weekend. It's going to get warmer on Sunday, but it's going to get windier on Sunday too. And the rain chance is going to pick up late in the day, looks like in the evening. And then Monday's looking like a bit of a washout. A lot of wind out there, good chance for rain. And after you know, it tapers off. When it begins to taper off, we might see it change over to a little bit of snow. Yes, on Tuesday morning. But you know, Angie, it's December. I guess we have to expect a little bit of snow sure. in the forecast from time to time. All part of the fun. But back, back to, we're going to be close to 60 on Monday, and then we've got 40 degrees, and we'll be lucky to hit 40 on Tuesday. So the temperature's going to go shh, take the plunge. All right, we got to. It keeps it interesting. It really you know, does. You never know. I mean, it really does. It's also making it challenging. Love this shot right here from Janet Simmons along the Evansville Riverfront. See a barge kind of nosing yes, its way into view. Right what I like most about this, you've got a golden horizon, and then you've got this burst of orange just off to the left there that is really cool I well mean, done Janet. awesome shot there from Janet very good yeah. and we're gonna get good ourselves at Bob's gym they have an open house Seth and Mike are here to tell us all about it there they are